Hello, in this problem we have a polynomial p of x equals x to the fourth plus 5x squared minus 36. And we're being asked to write it as a product of linear factors and find the zeros. So let's go ahead and try to do it. solution. So I'm going to start by just writing down the problem again. So we have p of x and that's equal to x to the fourth plus 5x squared minus 36. And we should be able to factor this. Um, I haven't even thought about it yet, but it shouldn't be too bad. So this is equal to. So because there's an x to the fourth here, I am thinking it's going to look like this. x squared, parentheses, x squared, parentheses. Because x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, because we add the exponents when we multiply. Now we need two numbers that multiply to negative 36 and add to 5. So 4 times 9 is 36. We need a negative 36, but the numbers have to add to a positive. So I am thinking that the 9 has to be positive and the 4 has to be negative. Let's double check. Let's see x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. That part's easy. 9 times negative 4 is negative 36. Boom, pretty easy. And then the middle, so the inner and the outer, have to add to the middle term. So 9 times x squared is 9x squared. So 9x squared plus negative 4x squared is 5x squared. So yeah, looks good. Now we want linear factors, so we have to keep going. So this piece here actually does factor x squared plus 9. This is actually going to be x plus 3i times x minus 3i. And that's basically because if you have a squared plus b squared, that's equal to a plus bi times a minus bi. It's a very, very powerful formula. Basically, it says if you take a complex number and you multiply, multiply it by its conjugate, you're going to get a squared plus b squared. So uh, here, it's really 3, right? It's really x squared plus 3 squared. And so it becomes x plus 3i, x minus 3i. Here we have a minus, so it's different. We're not going to get a complex number. This one is just the difference of squares formula. and It'll just be x minus 2, or x plus 2. I'll do x plus 2, just to be consistent with the signs, and x minus 2. The formula there is different. That one is a squared minus b squared. That's the one you're probably familiar with, and that would be a plus b, a minus b. That's really small. It says a minus b. I don't know why my handwriting just got really small. Could it get smaller? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> All right, so we're done with the first part, right? We've done it. We've written it as a product of linear factors, exciting stuff. And now we just have to find the zeros, and that's actually really easy. All the hard work is done. So basically, we're setting this equal to zero. And what that basically means is you set each linear factor equal to zero. So basically, you get x plus 3i equals zero, x minus 3i equals zero, x plus 2 equals zero x minus 2 equals 0. So you set each of these pieces uh, equal to 0, right? each one, and you just solve each one. And so you're going to get from here, you're going to get negative 3i. You subtract it. Here you add the 3i, so you get a positive 3i. Here you sub subtract 2, so you get negative 2. Here you add 2, so you get a positive 2. So we have four zeros. Not a very difficult problem, um, but but maybe you didn't know uh, about this here. Very, very useful. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.